Do you hate being poor? Do you want to be rich? Like me. If so, head over to Messy Modding Store for all your gaming needs where you can get GTA 5 cash and rank, GTA 5 modded accounts, and many more. And if you have any doubts, look at all these happy customers. Alright guys, so I'm just going to show a really, really epic fun fight that I had when I was playing on my PlayStation 5. So as you can see, I was driving to the beach and this guy in the jet comes up behind me. Yeah, he's, he's like a little barcode, so I presume that he's a little bit sweaty. You can see in the player list there's a few people in this guy's crew. So my thought process was, if I end up getting in a fight with this guy, I might be able to make it interesting by getting all his crew involved as well. But yeah, my Mini Cooper is no oppressor on that too, so I decided to blow myself up just so I can get myself out of it. Unfortunately, he wasn't really paying attention to the name, so this guy just got murked when I come MG. But yeah, there's this guy in the back. I have no idea where he is. Of course he's not spawned in on my screen. But yeah, the jet pilot sucks and misses me. But I've got a little bit of a dilemma here. So I either can have night vision on and probably be more likely to shoot the other guy, or I take my night vision off so I can actually see the jet going at me. But also, for some reason, this don't judge me guy is just constantly suicide looping. I don't even know why, but I'm definitely judging him for it because he's a little bitch. But yeah, Night Vision half just going to focus on taking out this jet. I mean, how hard can it be? It's just a jet. I just have to keep shooting it. Uh, side note though, this guy was probably one of the worst jet pilots I've ever seen. He could not kill me for shit. Until he eventually does kill me. Somehow, by basically driving into the floor. But at this point I'm thinking, why is this guy playing like this? Why is he basically flying into my rockets? But don't worry guys, because we'll soon find out. This guy just crashes his jet, and uh, at this point I'm just like, maybe maybe I'm just a little bit lagging. Because you know, new new house, uh, new internet, I just don't want to jump to any conclusions here. Okay, maybe I should have jumped to some conclusions, because this guy is curly in god mode. And now, the worst part about this is the fact that I forced myself to play on PS4 and PS5 with their awful 20 FPS, just so I can get away from modders. And when shit like this happens, where you get people in god mode that you can't kill, it's just like, what's the point of playing GTA at all? So yeah, we have a little sniper fight, this guy hits me once, so I'm like, what am I even doing with my life? Why am I just fighting a god mode player when I can't even kill him? So I decide to go passive and send him a lovely message. Now, it wouldn't be GTA without this absolute brain box of a human being sending me a message talking about the score. He says, L's I'm up, don't forget that. And it's safe to say, I'm lost for words. And this guy clearly knows that score equals skill. Yeah, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. It's a little bit short, but don't worry, there's going to be some long videos soon.